Dear students, we usually solve the functions that are algebraic in nature. But there are situations where we have logarithmic functions and we have exponential functions. What if we have to take the derivative of them and find their marginal versions for their economic interpretation? In that case, we need to learn about the logarithmic rule and the exponential rule of differentiation. So let us see ki hum kaise logarithmic or exponential functions ko differentiation may subject kar sakte hain. Let us see. Now uh, we have started with the possibility of exponential functions and then we will talk about the logarithmic functions as well. Right now this is the um, example that we start with a general form of an exponential function. And you can see in the um, supercrypt there is a function in terms of x which is represented with f of x. Now if we want to differentiate such a function that appears in this form where the variable that is the independent variable appears in the supercrypt. There in that case what we do is we can write that function as it is. Right? But we have to multiply it with the derivative of the supercrypt. Ye jo supercrypt hai, uska derivative humne uske saath in the form of a product lik diya hai. So ye hai iska tarika isko differentiate karne ka whenever we have an exponential function. Now it, it would be more clear if we do an example. You can see e raised to the power rx. This is what we have assumed and uh, this is an exponential function. f of x is equal to rx. As you can see the the supercrypt is equal to rx which is in terms of x. This is a function. And if we take the derivative of it with respect to x, the answer is r. We should note it because we need to put it into the rule of differentiation of exponential function. And we are writing that rule that we just learnt. And now we are going to put the values. f bar x as we found was r. Or jo function original form hai tha, humne usko uske saath in the form of a product lik diya. So, this is the answer of the differentiation of a function that appears with exponential form. Now, we can also try to solve the logarithmic functions. How we can deal with them, how we can differentiate them. Let us see. The logarithmic function is differentiated with certain restrictions because before we could differentiate it we need to make sure that the function is not negative value as you can see y is the natural log of the function fx humne yahan par fx ko negative hone se negate kiya hai because you know logarithms are calculated for positive values not for negative values Therefore, ye parametric restriction humne apply ki. Now we know that the derivative is equal to this because this is actually the formula for the differentiation of a logarithmic function. Here we have shown that this is the value of y and in the uh, next step, the actual rule is explained. And actual rule is very simple. We consider the function and we put it in the denominator Whereas, in the numerator, we have to write the function ka derivative. That is f bar x divided by fx. So, this is the formula. This is the rule we need to follow. Now, let us do this using this example. As you can see, natural log ke aage jo term hai, that is the function jise hum assume kar rahe, equal to fx. And in the formula, we need f bar x. So, we take the derivative of this function. And the derivative is equal to a. Now we have all the values we needed. We can put the value of a uh, of fx and we can put the value of f bar x. Uh, as we have calculated these values, they are put here and a little bit of cancellation will give us the final result. So you see, it is easy to solve a logarithmic function when we are going to differentiate it. It can appear with some economic variables as well. In place of x, we might have price as an independent variable or any other economic variable might appear. The thing is that we are going to 
use the same methodology using the same rules and we can get to the marginal functions in case of logarithmic and exponential specifications. Thank you.